So today what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be planting two different types of milkweed seeds. We're gonna be planting swamp milkweed seeds that I collected from my plants and some butterfly weed seeds that I bought from the store. And hopefully they do okay after I just soak them with the hose, my bad. So putting in milkweed seeds is supposed to be relatively easy. You're just supposed to put them about a quarter of an inch below because if you can see with these seeds that I collected, they are very, very fine and small. And what the gist of like any type of seed is, is that you do not want to, like if it's a big seed, you go deeper, right? This, those are the ones you're gonna do like a half inch, one inch deep. But ones that are like this, these tiny ones, right? That are supposed to float on the wind and then rest and then some dust or something basically supposed to naturally cover them up and or maybe the rain will pound them into the dirt just a tiny bit that's what would naturally occur so if you go putting something like this an inch in if it sprouts it's going to kill itself so what we're going to be doing is i've already put the soil in and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to put these on top add a little bit of soil and then water again and then we're going to see what happens over the course of well, we'll just see how long it takes <laughs> So these seeds were all collected from my swamp milkweed and my monarch butterfly garden last fall. Um, and basically I just took a whole bunch of them. I shoved them in a plastic bag. I'm not saying this is the best way to do it. I'm just telling you this is what I did. So we're gonna be going and also propagating some butterfly weed. because I wanna add some into my wildflower area now that these ones are kind of waning a little bit and it gets a little bit more sun than the monarch area and who just doesn't love having lots and lots of monarchs everywhere. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all of these and we're gonna move them into a, a semi-shade area um, that's a bit more protective and definitely will not get like a downpour of rain on it. So I will come out here and water it regularly just to make sure the soil stays semi-moist. Um, and then we'll check in every seven days. Cause that's always fun, right? And then you guys can see when does it sprout, how long, because one of the challenges is because this is not going through the kind of natural cycle. It's just me randomly putting seeds in. It's always cool to see like when you're in the spring, the summer, the fall, the temperature is kind of like this, what happens? So. See you in seven days. Okay, seven days here. Uh, it looks like we got our first seedling here. I'm not sure what this is, if a seed moved or... No, oh, just garbage. Okay. And I don't know what that is. That might just be a weed, but we'll see. We'll give it some more time and find out. Here we are at 14 days. So it looks like butterfly weed. We've got three of them have sprouted. Now they did say it could take seven to 21 days. And then this one, just one with swamp milk weed. I might need to reseed these. So here we are at 21 days butterfly weed. We had one, two, three. We had some challenges. It didn't rain as much as I thought. So this got drier. So this one over here got really droopy. Let's see if we can get it back. I just watered. Uh, so this is the butterfly weed, only three. But here we are at 21 days and here we are at the swamp milkweed. It was a much slower start. So we've got one, two, three, four plants. And I will let, I'm not gonna reseed any of these, but it's because I wanna show how much we're getting and if any new ones actually pop up before I start moving in plants. This is not totally bad for me just because I didn't necessarily want 24 milkweed plants. But I did want a little bit more than this. I was thinking I'd get about 12. Hmm. So maybe when we're done with this whole experiment, I will replant the whole thing. So it looks like all the butterfly weed died, which what the lesson learned is, is that if you don't pay attention to, the, to how dry the soil is, butterfly weed is going to be the most susceptible. Um, but swamp milkweed, while it was slower to take off, we got three going strong. The rest have died out or never came up. So we have our remaining <laughs> seedlings. So here's what I really learned is that besides the fact that butterfly weed was very finicky to the fact that it didn't get enough water, the swamp milkweed did way better. And I think it's because it spent more time establishing roots before it actually put growth up above. I never went and replanted any of the seeds, but with these ones, it's time to, you know, pot them up. So that's what we're gonna do right now. And now that my little seedlings, they're all potted up, 
If you're thinking, I don't know if I want to do seeds, well, maybe you want to learn about how to propagate milkweed from cuttings and check out this video right here. Or if you want to learn more about pink swamp milkweed, check out this video right here. Okay, I'll see you soon. Bye.